so students let's start with example number one water at 40 degrees centigrade has got a density uh, density is equals to 992.1 kilogram per meter cube okay, we are assuming that this is a steady flow and because the density is constant it is incompressible then the dynamic viscosity is given as 0 0.653 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram per meter per second in a 5 centimeter pipe diameter so the diameter we have got a pipe okay, and the diameter d capital is 5 centimeter okay horizontal knife made of stainless steel at a rate of 300 liter per minute so uh, the flow rate q is 300 liter per minute but determine the pressure drop okay so we need to calculate delta p l loss of pressure or pressure drop then we need to calculate the head loss head loss is h l in terms of height and the required pumping power so how much amount of work i need to do pumping power for the flow over a 50 meter long section of the pipe so the length of this pipe is 50 quite long pipe 50 meter okay so this is the given data now we need to calculate uh, the friction factor and to calculate the friction factor we need epsilon relative roughness over d ratio now since that uh, in the question it is given that the pipe is made up of stainless steel so we go to this table number 8.2 and see that for stainless steel the relative roughness in millimeters is 0 0.002 so let's calculate relative roughness this is equals to e is equals to 0 0.002 and the diameter of the pipe is equals to 50 millimeters so 55 centimeter into millimeter so it comes out to be 0 0.00004 so this is my relative roughness <coughs> and now i need to calculate the velocity so in order to know whether my uh, flow is uh, lambda turbulent i need to calculate Reynolds number the Reynolds number is rho v t over mu now I know the density, I know the diameter, I know the viscosity, I don't know the velocity, but I know the flow rate. So using flow rate formula, I can determine the uh, velocity. So let's start with velocity. Flow rate formula Q is equals to cross sectional area of the pipe multiplied by the velocity average. Okay, so average velocity V A V G is equals to flow rate over area cross sectional area. For flow rate is 300 liters per minute so if i want to convert then i will divide this by thousand and i want to convert minute into centimeter so divide by 60 sorry minute into seconds and hold it by pi r square so 0 0.05 all square hold it by 4 so my flow rate comes out to be 2.55 meter per second now i know the flow rate i can calculate the number number one is flow rate number two let's calculate the null number to see whether it is laminar or turbulent so rho vd over new so the null number comes out to be 992.1 multiplied by 2.55 multiplied by the diameter in meter 0 0.05 hold divided by 0 0.000653 so my uh, the null number is 193710 now this is greater than 4000 certainly so this flow is turbulent so since this flow is turbulent so i am going to use turbulent friction factor formula so i have got two options number one either i can use uh, the colbrook equation colbrook equation or i can use the modi chart <coughs> okay so we will use both of them uh, to solve this numerical let's start with the uh, cold break equation okay so cold break equation states that friction factor f is equals to minus 1.8 log 6.9 whole divided by 193710 this was the Reynolds number plus my uh, 0 0.00004 this is my relative roughness whole divided by 3.7 to the power 1.11 whole to the power <coughs> uh, completely to the power of minus 2 
So using this formula, the friction factor comes out to be 0.016. Let's say that I want to calculate using my uh, uh, my uh, equi uh, my chart, Moody chart. Okay. So remember what was my uh, turbulent uh, Renault number? It was one point. So turbulent Renault number RE was around about 1.9 into. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 10 to the power 5 something like that okay this is my return number so and my relative roughness was around 0 0.00044 okay so let's go to the chart move the chart so using move the chart <coughs> let's see what we get so it is 0 0.0004 so my relative roughness is 0 0.0004 Four, okay, so I'm going to follow this curve. Okay, something like that and my renal number is 1.9 into 10 to the power 5 so it is around about uh, So it is approaching like 2 into 10 to the power 5 something like that So let's follow this curve until this renal number. So I am going to follow this curve Until my renal number is 2 into 10 to the power 5 something like that <coughs> so my friction factors using this also comes out to be 0 0.016 so you can see that using Moody, Moody chart <coughs> also we are getting the same result so now that I know what is the friction factor <coughs> we are going to use the formula for pressure loss letter PL which is same for uh, turbulent and uh, lamina flow which is delta PL is equal to F L over D rho V square over 2 so it's 0 0.016 into 50 divided by 0 0.05 multiplied by 992.1 into 2.55 whole square over 2 so my pressure loss delta PL comes out to be 51609 Pascal or 51.6 kilo Pascal this is my pressure loss how much pressure I have lost now we want to calculate how much height we have lost okay so in terms of head loss HL so HL is equals to pressure loss whole divided by density into gravity this comes out to be 5.3 meters so I need to basically work 5.3 meters more to get uh, to basically this is the loss of height and my pump has to power more so how much is the work done by the pump the work done by the pump formula is work done is equals to flow rate multiplied by the pressure loss okay so flow rate was uh, in liters per minute so 300 divided by 1000 divided by 60 whole multiplied by my pressure 51609 so my work done comes out to be 258 watts so this is the answer So let us move to example number 2 Air at 40 degree centigrade having a density of so given is given that Air has a density is equal to 1.127 kilogram per meter cube The kinematic viscosity is given Okay, 1.702 into 10 x per minus 6 meter square per second and then the diameter is 50 centimeter so the pipe diameter is same capital D equals to 50 centimeter a horizontal pipe made of plastic so this is plastic and the flow rate volume flow rate Q is equals to or V dot is equals to 30 liters per minute so remember you need to convert it into meter per second <coughs> what is to be determined we need to determine uh, the head loss HL and pumping over W dot. This is something unknown. And the length of the pipe is 150 meter. So the assumptions given is that the flow is steady and there is conservation of mass, so density is not changing, so it's incompressible. Okay, so let's start with the calculation. So the first thing is that we need to determine uh, volume flow rate. Okay, so let's move to the solution. So 
So the volume flow rate, since we know, is Q is equal to cross sectional area into velocity. So average velocity is equal to 30 over 1000 over 60 whole divided by pi by 4 into 0 0.5 whole square converted into meters. So my average velocity is 2.55 into 10 exponent minus 3 meters. Now as a question, go back to previous example and see the velocity of uh, the turbulent flow and now compare that velocity with the laminar flow and you will realize that why this flow is laminar and why that flow is turbulent. Now let's calculate the null number Re is equals to V average into T over kinematic viscosity so no need to multiply by density <laughs> so it comes out to be 748 this is less than 2300 so this is laminar flow and now we know that the, for laminar flow the friction factor formula is very easy this is 64 whole divided by Reynolds number so this comes out to be 0 0.0856 so when we talk about laminar, uh, laminar flow the equations become quite easy so let's calculate the head loss HL is equals to friction factor multiplied by L over T V square over W G so this is equals to uh, 8.51 to 10 exponent minus 6 meters so the loss is comparably very very low you can see the height compare the height of the previous numerical and this numerical and see how much less there is the head loss now let's calculate the pressure difference delta PL loss of pressure so this is equals to uh, head loss HL multiplied by rho into G so this comes out to be 9.41 into 10 exponent minus 5 Pascal so the amount of pressure loss is also quite less now let's go and calculate uh, the amount of work, extra work that I need to do. So W dot is equals to flow rate into pressure loss. This will be definitely very less. And it comes out to be 4.71 into 10 exponent minus 8 of watt. So how much less amount of uh, extra power do I need to put in? Almost negligible. So you can see how much saving I can make if uh, my flow is uh, laminar. But usually the flow cannot be laminar and it's very difficult to maintain. So this was all about uh, examples and numericals for calculating major loss and next we are going to go into the total loss how to calculate the total loss of a complete piping system.